A Gemini, now kiss your mind, or a mirage. A Gemini is the only sign with double sides. So if she give it to me now, we'll be a Hey Gems, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, new setup, brighter setup, cooler setup. It's because I bought myself a ring light and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So all my videos can be filmed in the house now. I can film anytime I want. I don't gotta get up at eight o'clock in the morning, y'all. Eight o'clock, I had to get up every day just to film a video for y'all. But now, it's still eight o'clock, but I'm in the house. It's my little backdrop, y'all. Isn't it so cute? It looks so geometrical. I think that's the word. Like that part, ooh, I like it. But today we're going to be doing a story time on a nail salon I went to during quarantine. I will never go there ever again, y'all. Like, ever again. It was disgusting. But let's get into this video. Alright, y'all. So, my appointment, I booked the appointment at this nail salon near my house. Because I was like, I need my nails done ASAP. I need my nails done. I need my nails done. So... I booked this appointment. It was at 9 30. So it's the same day. I get up at like 8 o'clock, get ready, do all the stuff that I had to do. And I'm on my way to the nail salon appointment. Mind you, I couldn't even find it at first. I just kept riding past it over and over for like a good five minutes. And then I finally found it. It's like 9 20. So I'm like, all right, let me just go in there now because I don't want no hiccups. That's what I was thinking. I say the earlier, sometimes it's better to come early. In this case, I think it was better to come late, not even book appointment. But so I'm getting there. I'm there. I'm about to get out the car. So oh yeah, I got feed the meter. So I feed the meter for basically two hours, almost. It's 9:30. I booked it until like 11, 11:20. Cause I'm like, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be there no longer than 11:20. I'm only get my nails done. What's the like? What's the big? thing so i get there i feed the meter so like 11 11 10 i go to, i go inside the nail salon boom somebody already in my seat so i'm at first i'm like all right first time i'm walking i'm like okay i guess you have to be down her nose i get closer he just now starting her nose how you gonna start somebody else's nails if you got an appointment in 10 minutes you can't do nobody nails in 10 minutes y'all like you can't it's like physically impossible to do somebody nails unless you're really really good in 10 minutes they not that good for them to be having people in somebody else's chair 10 minutes before they come. That's not fair to the person that actually booked that appointment. So, as I get there, I'm sitting, I'm sitting behind the girl. And, and when I'm sitting behind the girl, I'm like, hey, I thought, I thought my appointment was at 9.30. It's currently 9.20. You're starting somebody else's nose. Trying to be respectful. Trying to be respectful me. That did not work out. So I'm like, when are like, when can you start my nails? She's like, oh, after the hair, after the hair. I'm like, but you can't do that if you have an appointment. You can't, you can't put some else on top of an appointment because they was the ones that wanted it first. They wanted that time, so that's why they booked that time. Common sense, but not everybody else here. Yet. So, so the lady that owned the shop, she said, hey, is it possible that um, if you want your feet done, you can do that while you wait? I said, but y'all understand why should I have to wait? If I'm the one that booked the appointment. All those other people in here, he, they can finish their nails or you can put me on somebody else. Like, it don't matter. I don't want my nails done. It was like, oh no, you since you booked one, you have to wait. So, so I go in there and I'm getting my feet done. Mind you, I got a boot on my leg at this time because I had broke my ankle. This is like August 5th, y'all. August 5th. So I still have my boot on my leg. I'm walking in there, hopping in there with my one boot. I hopped over, sat on the chair. And then he, I, I slowly unstrapped up my leg. He was like, oh, um, he looked at me like I'm crazy. But I put my foot in the water. And I'm like, whatever. So I don't pay no mind. And then after that, he comes he comes to him lifting my foot up. He starts to, because I, I guess I ain't have it on there like he wanted to. So he yanks my foot. I'm like, yo, my foot is messed up. Why are you trying to yank my foot off? He's like, oh, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry, man. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I put my earphones in because now he, now he talking in Chinese with the other lady. I'm like, I don't got time to, for this. I don't want to get mad. So I put my earphones in. I take him back out. And I look over. This man doing somebody else's nails. I'm like, yo. I'm, like, I'm saying it's all in my head. I'm like, oh my God. Like, this do not make sense. This do not make sense. 
So, as the man is halfway done my feet, be into it like an hour now. Mind you, my feet is not bad, y'all. My feet really was poor. But I'm gonna like insert a video or a picture on either side and show y'all. Like he was, he didn't care about my feet. Like he really didn't. Cause he didn't get, he, you know how you got the disc on the back of your feet and stuff like that? He supposed to get that, he didn't even get that. My toe, my toes was all crooked and stuff like but that. It comes to like 10, 15, 10, 20. I'm still in the nose line, still getting my feet done. He don't get done till like 10, 40 y'all, no exaggerations. Like, it's like he was doing invisible surgery on my feet. Cause he didn't do nothing different. Like I didn't feel nothing different. Like usually I feel my feet a little lighter or I feel like my feet like real moist like because of the because of the lotion and stuff. I didn't even feel that. I didn't even feel that y'all. So he get done with my foot, I put my boot on. He told me something. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. In the beginning, I said, I said, how much is for your feet? They gonna say, oh, $30. I said, okay, no problem. Then my feet get done y'all. My feet get done. They talking about something. Oh, $45. I'm like $45. He was like, yeah, $45. I'm like, but you just said it was $30. Why is it now $45? He gonna say, oh no, 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 I can't understand you. So he went and go, got his boss. And then she told me, she said, oh yeah, it's $45. I don't know why he told you 30. So I'm looking on the board. I'm like, I'll give you, I'm not giving you no $45. This is not no $45. She's like, oh, you got gel, pedic you got gel, pedicure, gel, gel, gel. I said, yes, I do. I look up there, you don't say forty dollars. Now they're trying to text me. Extra five dollars. You're not getting no tip, bro. You, you, that's a mess. Like you ask for a tip, you're not gonna get it. So he I, I said, okay, whatever. But just put it with my nails. So I'm, I'm mind you, somebody else is in my seat now. I'm waiting for somebody else. I find like she finally got her nails done. She pissed. Like the girl was pissed. I didn't say anything about eyebrows. My daughter didn't get her eyebrows done. I had a gel pedicure. It's the only thing I had. My daughter has a gel manicure, and I wanted a gel manicure. So what are you talking about? You have to fight my She pissed off. So it comes to me about to get my nose done. He was like, I said, Oh, well, I'm finally in the seat, y'all. It's like it's like eleven o'clock. I'm finally in the seat. I'm like, oh time I gotta feed the meter. I go outside limping with my boot trying to hurry up across the street. Hurry up, trying to cross the street, hurry, hurry, hurry up. I had to feed the meter for another hour and a half, y'all. So I fed the meter to like 1240, y'all. Like for real. No exaggeration. So like 1240. Oh my goodness. So I go back in there. I said, okay, so I'm ready to get my nose done. I said, I said, how much is your refills again? He gonna say, oh, this must be the major number. $45. I'm like, $45? I said for a refill, he was like, yeah. I said, how much is it for you to take it off and put it back on? This is the part that just threw me off, like real bad. They're gonna say $45. Why does it keep seeing $45? Like what is wrong with y'all? So, all right, $45. I'm like, so I might as well get, get a brand new set. He was like, okay, okay, it's gonna take a little longer. I'm like, how much is a little longer? A few minutes. I'm like, okay, no problem. So. Mind you, I my my nails is short, y'all. Like I'm gonna show y'all my nails, but don't mind my nails. This is the same nail I was talking about. I'm talking about in this video. But like, this is how my nails look. They look how short. First of all, look how short my nails are. It took them an hour, and you can see them now. Like look at them. These are the same nails that. I, like y'all see it? A mess. 
and it took them an hour that it took them an hour sorry i got my notes here so i won't forget nothing but yeah it took them over an hour mind you my nails wouldn't been this long this is like a refill needed asap but my nails are a little shorter than this they're going it took them 45 minutes to have me i mean an hour to 45 minutes to have me in the acrylic just to melt down my nail that's this tiny they don't like i'm telling y'all i went to many nail salons in my life it never took them an hour and i had i used to wear long nails like all the way up here and it took them like 30 like no more than 30 minutes to take the acrylic off and mind you my hands was in such a little bowl y'all that my, my hands was cramping up so bad like so bad y'all i'm like my head had my hands like this inside the bowl so so it can like so it's so like the uh the acrylic can get all over because i couldn't they didn't give me two bowls they said due to due to covid i only get one bowl i'm like that don't make sense but i they give me this little tiny bowl yo like i lied to y'all not this is my little coffee that and it's so cute but the bowl was like no bigger than this y'all so mind you both my hands in this bowl like this cramping so hard y'all so hard I got fat fingers, like I'm not lying. I got real fat fingers. What do my fat little sausage fingers look like being in a little cup, little bowl like this? Come on, come on, come on! And I tell y'all, I looked at them like they was retarded. They want some. They talking about some. Oh well, we only can give you one bowl. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going. They pushing me, but I'm not. I'm not going to fall for it. They pushing me, I'm not gonna fall for it. So I'm still I'm still in the acrylic, mind you. Still in the acrylic. He he starts somebody else knows, mind you. My appointment was at 9 30, y'all. It's near like almost 12 or 12, something around that time. I didn't he didn't he didn't finish, he didn't take my acrylic off. Another lady took my acrylic off. She said, Oh, you you done with the acrylic. I said, she said, Oh, you should have and basically the owner come to me again like this owner just keep coming to me like she getting on my nerves her staff getting on my nerves so as i'm as i'm um sorry about that so as they taking the acrylic off my, my nose looked so nasty like is she so aggressive she so i'm like so can i wash my hands she's like oh no you can wash your hands i can't wash my hands like my hands got all this white stuff on it. She said, "Oh no, you have to wait. You have to wait." So she takes the acrylic off. Mind you, it's coming off like an easy breeze because they've been on for so long, probably eating at my nail at this point. Like if, if the bowl was getting so hot, y'all, so hot, so hot. I should took a picture of that. <sighs> Slacking, but yeah, the bowl like it kept getting hot because the acrylic and they had a rag over. It's like when you trap when you trap acetone, that joint that joint can heat up. It can heat up fast. So, so I take my hand off the bowl. She patted, she patted, not with water, with the acetone rag. Like how dumb, how dumb are you, yo? Why are you patting your client nails with acrylic rag? Dumb, just dumb. Never again. So when she do that, she take them off. She take it, cause she's taking them off. Boom, they come off so easy. So now it comes to her putting my, my little tips on because my nails are really short. Like, they're shorter than this. Like, look how short they get. But, yeah, it comes to her putting a tip on. She being aggressive with that. Like, how are you, how can you be aggressive putting somebody glue? Like, all I see is, she's like, okay, hold your hands to how long, how long do you want? I said this one is short. She's like, okay, so let me just put them on. She's like, I'm gonna put them on, you gonna finish it. I'm like, okay, no problem. So she put them on, pressing it hard. I'm like, ow, ow, ow ouch that hurt that can hurt thank you so she hurt me a little bit she stopped then a boy finally done with the other girl nails he comes he said you can come sit in my chair so I, he said how long do you want him i said short because like i don't know why I'm, I'm just loving my short nails right now making nub short like to the point that my nail like my my, my fake nails see how you saw how long it is now he and you see how crooked that is, y'all. I'm not tripping, but see how this is. First of all, my 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 when I first got them done, they was under my under my uh actual fingernail. Like if you get what I'm saying, like you couldn't even be able to see my nail when I first first got them done because he got them because he did he cut them so short. I was like, dang. And then when he did my thumb, 
he put something in the side of my thumb, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it, but like, it's like right there. I swear. I'm trying to take that out since the, since the longest. What's today? Today is the 26th. I had these nails on for 21 days, okay? 21 days. I mean, don't get me wrong. The hold is there, but the the client, well, the customers satisfaction stuff is I'm not I'm not up there with that. So as he's doing my nails, he's like he just slapping on him. Like he, he at this point like I'm tired. I don't want to do nails no more. He just slapping as much as much as I'm. I just want him thin and short. That's it. No no designs on nothing. Like you can never you cannot get that much simple because you know how people be getting them extra long super duper nails. My nails is short. It's gonna take you like 2.5 seconds to do my nails. You just slapping on, just slapping on. When I tell you, I got so much like under underneath. I got so much acrylic underneath the nail. I had to clean it out myself. Like, oh my god, y'all. I'm gonna put a picture right there and right there how my nails look. When I put a picture right there and right there how my nose look. And when I tell you, you won't even. You won't be like, why? Why do you even pay? Why do you even pay? Cause that's the last time they would ever get my service y'all i mean ever like that stuff was ridiculous like isn't like I, to me nobody should ever go through that no type of nail salon i don't care if you a big if you somebody big or somebody small it's a mess like nobody wants to walk around like that and then you want you know the part that really just just had to put the icing on the cake for me as he's, as he's getting down my nail he ain't saying nothing he just yanking my nail Relax, relax, relax. I'm supposed to relax. You ain't got my nail from left to right. And mind you, y'all, my feet is orange. My nails are pink. I asked for orange. I asked for orange nails, y'all. Believe it or not, this is the same color I had the, the day, the, I mean, the time before, the time before last. I had got a color like this. Now, it's supposed to be orange. This is pink. I'm not crazy. This is pink. This is pink. And when he got done my nails, he said, oh, oh, so you got to tell me my total all together. Okay, boom. I know how much it was. Then this nigga going to have the audacity to say, oh, no tip. No tip? You think you deserve a tip after that? No. I'm not giving you no tip, little nigga. You got me. F <laughs> I'm not giving you no tip. You got me messed up. Like, you got me messed up. I'm not giving nobody who not deserve no tip. And that nail tech and that foot tech, horrible. I would never recommend them. Zero out of ten for me. I will never go back. You will never have my services. You'll never have a tip from me. You never have a high from me. I am done. That that place, they they were so nice the very first time I went. The second time, I don't know what happened. Like it was just horrible. They looking at me. I'm looking at them. Like y'all really retarded. Y'all really retarded. They really retarded in there, y'all for real. And don't get me wrong, the nails stay on. Like, the quality of the glue and stuff, that's good. But the service stuff, a mess. I would never go back. I would never recommend nobody to go to this nail salon. I will not be telling you to nail salon, but I will tell you where it's near. <laughs> Say no. But, guys, I will not be telling you to nail salon that I want to. Just know I will never go there ever again. And... I will tell you one day, but it ain't today. But I want to say thank you for everybody that watched my YouTube channel. Well, that's the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend about my videos. And guys, thank you for 56 subscribers. I'm so happy. I'm going to roll to 100 subscribers. I'm 44 subscribers away from 100 subscribers, y'all. I'm so excited. Well, guys, this is the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend about my videos. Make sure you like, comment, and share, you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.